So we had a little hitchhiker last night. Woke us up at 6.30 in the morning. I don't know if this is the exact perfect height, but it looks already significantly better. Oh yeah, wow, it's so much lower. We flipped the shank, it's now the other way and we've been able to lower it much lower. So we're excited. Good job, Nathan. Yeah. We left Alamogordo, New Mexico, direction, Texas. We passed by El Paso on the way and made it through Border Patrol. No problemo. Hi. Good, Hi. good. Hi. Nobody in the campers? <laughs> no, thank God. <laughs> well, we carry our children in the back, you know, when they're naughty. <laughs> We're back, baby. Prada Marfa store. Use our discount code to save 20%. Stop. <laughs> Dang, I'm not surprised as all these cars pulled over because it's a thing, you know? This is a landmark. Let's see if I can get closer. Tumbling in to the tumble end. Huh. I feel like they extended their sights the last time we were right here. I do feel, don't you feel like the, the truck handled the trailer better than it was a little bit lower this time? No, it was, like so, it it was so much better. A bit smoother. Yes. And it didn't look so funky. You feeling deja vu or what? <laughs> yeah. I think I have this exact same shot of you. This is the exact same sight we had last year. I don't know if they, they knew that or if it was coincidence, but. And I swear the Jayco next to us was here last time. I think they're full time. I feel like there's quite a few Jaycos out there, but maybe it is the same people. Maybe they are full time, who knows? It is Saturday, so maybe we'll have to go out and get some tacos, some food, a drink or something, because what I love so much about when we arrive to a place on a Friday or Saturday night is it usually means that other travelers are also out. Because yeah, most people are traveling on weekends. So, I want to meet some people that come to Marfa. So this morning we are headed to Alpine. This is a town that when we were driving to Austin last year, we didn't even know it existed. And as we were driving through with the trailer, we were like, damn, why didn't we check out this place? So this year we're actually dedicating almost a full day today to Alpine. We're gonna grab some coffee, check out the shops, and then head back to Marfa and see if we can also check out some of the shops there. Getting to towns like Alpine and Marfa is a journey, no doubt. Doesn't matter where you're coming from. We drove through the Texas high plains and deserts to get here. The region is known as Big Bend Country. And while this area is pretty remote, its charm is in the details. From the mecca of murals off Holland to the storefront signage off Murphy, just go for a stroll and you'll come across lots of artwork that pay tribute to the history of this small southwest Texas town.
All right, we're heading back to Marfa now, but I can't emphasize enough. Cedar coffee supply, medium roast, amazing! <laughs> that's amazing, that's amazing, that's amazing, that's amazing! One of my favorite coffees in the last six months. I don't know what they put in it. She said the supplier's from Dallas. They put a little je ne sais quoi mixed in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ya tu sabe. Many of the locals here in Marfa are independent business owners and wear several hats just to get by. A lot of them brought their talents from their previous big city lives, blessing little Marfa with a very unique offering. Their shopping, food, bars, and coffee were all outstanding. <laughs> My name's Jeff. My name's Jeff. smell is just, it's getting to me. It's get, I'm so hungry. It's killing me, I'm behind the camera. Just, yeah, <laughs> so we, uh, we're back in Marfa at this place called Parajevar. And that's not how you pronounce it, it's Parajevar. And it's right off the main strip, so you can't miss it. But they're known, according to Olivia's research, they're known for their pizzas. And I got sucked in to a BLT. No! Yes! No! With homemade pimento cheese. Dude, it's gonna be unreal. It looks and feels so warm too. All right, let's, oh wow, look at this box. That's wow. awesome, you got the Marfa tower right here. Oh my God, look at those crispy pepperonis. Do you smell, do you smell. Oh, can I get the first bite? Yeah, go ahead. I might be scorching hot, but I'm gonna go for it. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Gotta give it a little bit of that. Oh my god. Whoa. My god. What's up with this place? Marfa. It's so unassuming. The food, the shops. Oh my god, the crunch. I'm gonna have to open this thing up for you guys because uh, on the menu it says thick bacon strips and I'm looking at it right now. Look at that bacon. Damn boy, he's thick! He's thick. Dude, it's the pimento. I'm so excited to hear how it tastes. I'm just gonna go for it. So good. The bread, the bacon, tomatoes, it's fresh. Par Javar <laughs> means to go. You keep saying it with the Colombian accent. But you can sit down. <laughs> so sit down and enjoy it. Mm. All right, so I'm heading outside in this crazy windstorm because I have to show you this rig. It's like almost a million dollars. Oh, snap. Woo! Oh. oh my goodness. We are in West Texas and it's been windy as hell the last couple days. But there's something special. This is, a, I've never seen this before. It's crazy. So right behind that tree, being a little bit of a creeper right now. Global X Expedition. We cooped up editing all day long in the trailer. That's what we do when the weather's not so good outside. We work all day, no breaks. That's what the, what? okay, I'm done. I lost my flow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got dishes to do too. Mm -hmm. That's your job. <laughs> it has been kind of weird weather, super freaking windy and it's just now starting to get cold. It is snowing in Marfa, Texas. Tonight, it's gonna freeze. It's gonna get to about 30 degrees, so we are going to undo our new lovely water filter that we love so much. They say that can freeze and get damaged, so we're gonna take that off, and then we're gonna use our no-freeze water hose. It's because, of course, we love that thing. Military strength. This new hose. It's it so is nice, huh? Oh shit. 
Ah, Santo Spirito Maria. <laughs> In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. We need to clean the back seat anyways. We're just in white sands and we do have some sand back here. Oh uh, yeah, sorry for the light. Two towels and a freaking flannel. <laughs> this shit better not freeze. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of ghetto. <laughs> so whatever. Sometimes you gotta improvise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what I wanted to tell you. So we had a little hitchhiker last night. Woke us up at 6.30 in the morning. And no, I'm not talking about a knock on the door from a human. I'm talking about a lovely little mouse. <laughs> well, that's better. Let's just slip it on for size. <laughs> Last night in the middle of the night, we're sleeping and we get woken up by the sound of like tin foil, I thought it was. Turned out to be a plastic bag. We really haven't had any issues with like spiders or uh, mice or anything like that. Hey, what's your pet rat's name? Is my pet what? The what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, the fuck? I don't know him. Nathan immediately cleaned it up and put down a trap, but I am so nervous. I am nervous. I'm nervous that in the middle of the night tonight or tomorrow morning, we're gonna wake up to a smack sound and it's gonna be a little mouse. All right, well, we got poor Gussie. <laughs> And we didn't even hear it last night, which I'm really surprised by. We did have our, our heater on, but dang, I didn't expect to see him because I didn't hear anything, but... No! Do you want to show? <laughs> oh, well, I feel better now. Yeah, we got him. My, I like mice, though. They're cute, you know? <sighs> I know, but we just really don't want it in the trailer. I wonder... Yes, yeah, so now we need to get him, get rid of him. I love it, it's like Mad Max. Let's see if you got the laundry right here. Look at this map, man. This map is just sink. Everything's a little bit dusty. Microwave from 1976. Oh, wow. Oh my God, are you so happy? We literally chose the windiest day to come out here and clean our air filter, but you know what, it had to be done. It's that's all mold. That's why I'm wearing a mask. I'm super allergic to that stuff. But oh my gosh, yeah. nasty! Don't forget to do this crap. If you want to breathe good, it's yeah. in Florida. We're gonna need our air conditioning. Yeah, that's true. Look um, at all that. Oh. That's so satisfying to watch. You have good technique. It's all in the wrist, you know. Get yourself a little Japanese <laughs> sweeper thing, and boom, you're ready to go. <laughs> I'm trying to block the wind so the sound isn't terrible. If it is, I guess we'll just mute this clip and voice over it. But in good old Marfa, Texas, yeehaw! I'm out here in Alpine, standing in front of Petit Bijou. It's a wonderful service out of an airstream. Beautiful mur mural, mural <laughs> on my left. What are they called? What are those called? Pillars. Mosaic. Mosaic. That's right. Cute around here. It really is. I think we're a bit temprano. That means early. Maybe. <laughs> Businesses haven't quite opened yet, but we'll, we'll wait. We're patient. <laughs> it's a virtue.